In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, beloved of God, and welcome. Today is Monday, the 27th of September, 2021. It is Monday of the 26th week in Ordinary Time, Church Year B. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Reverend Father Blessed Ambang Njume. The Church celebrates the feast day of St. Vincent de Paul. Priest, good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues, grant, we pray, that a fire with that same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the prophet Zechariah, chapter 8, verses 1 to 8. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 102. The response to the psalm is, The Lord shall build up Zion. He will appear in all his glory. The gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 9, verses 46 to 50. I read from the Gospel. At that time, an argument arose among the disciples as to which of them was the greatest. But when Jesus perceived the thought of their hearts, he took a child and put him by his side and said to them, Whoever receives this child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. For he who is least among you all is the one who is great. John answered, Master, we saw a man casting out demons in your name, and we forbade him, because he does not follow with us. But Jesus said to him, Do not forbid him, for he that is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is 
greatness is not who you are or where you are, but the service you do. Greatness is not who you are or where you are, but the service you do. Dear friends in Christ, Today's gospel passage touches on greatness. What is greatness and who can be considered great? Let us begin by asking, is it bad to be great or to desire greatness? No, not at all. Often, we think seeking greatness is a misplaced ambition. No. No, you should desire to be great. You should seek greatness. What is bad is rather your wrong understanding of greatness and what you seek greatness for. Our world has many who occupy positions of greatness, but they are themselves not great. They look for great positions, not to serve, but to crush others. They look for great positions not to serve but to lord it over others and to enjoy the titles and privileges that come to their high offices. It is for this Jesus warned the disciples among the pagans their own men in authority their own great men lord it over them. But no it should not be so among you. Many of us envy them, I mean the great men and women of our world, and we want to be like them, but we have a wrong understanding of what greatness truly is. Greatness is not who you are or where you are, but what you do. Jesus explains, greatness is service. The greatest is the one who serves. For this reason, he brought a little child and said, He who wants to be first must be the least. What a contradiction. If you want to be great, then serve. It is about how much service you do. The world gives us the contrary. Those who are considered great are rather those who are served big man and big woman. They seek positions where they will be served rather than their serving. We think the so-called big people are those in high offices and positions. Yes, they could be whether in big positions or high offices or not. The question is, do you serve? It does not mean to occupy a high office or to have a big position is bad. No. Someone will definitely have to occupy these positions and offices, but let that office or position be used for service. Use that position to serve. It is in service that true greatness is found. You may like to ask and you want to know, how is service greatness? See the irony in it. Jesus is truly wise. The master thinks he is the great one, but truly it is the servant who is great. Jesus had asked, who is greater? The one who reclines at table or the one who serves? Confer Luke chapter 22 verse 27. The master sits at table waiting for food. Till the servant serves the food, the master cannot eat. So who truly is great? It is the servant, right? He determines the master. He conditions him. If the servant does not tidy the house, does not clean the shoes of the master, and does not tidy his clothes, the master goes unkempt. So, again, who truly is the great one? It is the servant, because his master's neatness depends on him. So you see, truly, Service and servanthood is greatness. 
whether occupying a high office or position or whether a simple floor member, as long as you serve, you are the great one. Greatness is not about a position. Greatness is about an activity. Greatness is not who you are or where you are. Greatness is what you do. The truly great people of the world and in the church are those who spend their lives doing things for others. Remember Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She's a truly great woman. She spent her time and entire life serving the poor. The truly great leaders of the world are those who changed the condition of their people from misery to plenty. Yes, it was about how much service they rendered to their people. This is what the apostles had been arguing about. Who among them is the greatest? They wanted to be great. They wanted to know who among them was greatest. No problem. Jesus did not say to be great was bad. But whoever wanted to be great had to be the least and servant of all. You must have the right mentality and the right disposition for the reason why you want to be great. Jesus showed it. You call me Lord and Master, and rightly so I am. But here I am. I have stooped low to wash your feet. John chapter 13, verses 13 to 14. You too must be ready to wash each other's feet. That is, you must be ready to serve. Who are the greatest players of a club? They are those who have done their best and given their all for the club by scoring goals, thereby bringing lots of trophies to the club. Do you want to be great? Simple. Nothing bad in wanting to be great. Do things. Do little things in great ways. And I tell you, you will be great. These are the great people in the kingdom of heaven. Those who serve while on earth. Feed the hungry. Clothe the naked. Give water to the thirsty. Visit the sick and those in prison. Forgive and love. And I tell you, beloved, this service you render will make you great in the kingdom of heaven. Do you want to be great? It is about how much service you are ready to render to your fellow brothers and sisters. Let us pray for that grace that we may be ready to serve. Go down, beloved. Let them call you servant. Let them call you the least of all. Let them even call you foolish and stupid. Yes, till you occupy that position of foolishness and stupidity for the sake of the kingdom, that is true service that will take you to heaven and make you great. Jesus was God, but he became a servant for all. Let us pray through the intercession of St. Vincent de Paul. He was born in France in the year 1581 and lived his priestly life at the service of the poor and the formation of the clergy. He founded the Vincentians for the purpose of the spiritual formation of the clergy and to assist the poor. He also founded the Congregation of the Daughters of Charity. He was called the Saint of Charity on account of his passion and dedication to the poor, whom he served wholeheartedly. He died in Paris, France in the year 1660. We have societies in our churches known as Societies of St. Vincent de Paul, trying to imitate him to be at the service of the poor. Beloved, till we render service, then shall we be truly great. Do you want to be great? It is not about who you are or where you are. It is about the service that you render. Oh dear Lord, that we may be ready to render service to our fellow brothers and sisters like St. Vincent de Paul. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. <laughs>